Welcome to Season 2, Episode 19 of the Career Cast. With us, we have Rypel Cosplays. Hey. Howdy. Hey. Like How you doing? Episode is fantastic. Amazing. Oh, sorry. It got quiet again. It did? Shit. Wait, maybe I just put my lips up a little bit closer. Oh, wait. I think that might have actually been an issue on my end, just as I turned the volume down. Okay, but that can be a little bit, yeah. But how are you doing today? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Like, I woke up and I'm perfectly fine. And then I just worked on my mask, on my suit, and perfect day. Awesome. What time is it for you? What time is it for you? Oh, um... Oh, okay. It's it's seven o'clock. Okay. So not too bad. All right. Um. Well, let's get on with like the cosplay of it all. So um. I wanted to ask. So you are kind of, at least I know you for your Iron Spider suit and then your Sona suit. Yeah, most people know me of my Iron Spider. It's kind of like how I got into all of this, you know? Like, I had Instagram for like two years without actually posting anything myself. And I saw like Spears Villa, um, DSM, Sensational, Capital Cosplays. And then I was like, I want to join in. I want to be in the gang. So I just like trying to be a good cosplay. And so I, I, I couldn't sew at all. And Pretty costume never of it. So I got into crafting costume. So that's awesome. I uh I don't know. It's something I've wanted to do. I wanna like sew my own suit and everything. But it's such an undertaking. It is not perfect at all. It's like really messy. Fair. Yeah, so you uh you puff painted yours, right? You've puff painted yours, right? Yeah, I did. Like, you can't really see on camera, but I did. Is this the and one did, you've like, been without... posting about? Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Not at all. Like, oh, it's good yeah, lighting. Sorry, this thing. I was gonna say, sometimes like the propping the computer up or something, I don't know, helps. Alrighty, so. Um, and so, did you use uh, Zach's Sensationals pattern? selling your suit? I wanted to. I really wanted to. I was like really close to buying it, but I didn't. I did probably Spider-Man stick. Like I watched this video like 500 times, like every day, every night before I get to sleep, like you just memorize the way you did it. And then I was like, I gotta do it myself. And I did. And his methods were really well. I don't know how it was quite easy like to get the pattern right. I got some help with a friend of mine who like sewed costumes before. And this method was real there. That's awesome. So, and you went for a very like bright color scheme, and I feel like it works really good for like a classic suit. Yeah, I was thinking of like, like my last suit, like that I got from a uh, print costume. It was quite dark, but it was like almost black and red. And I felt a bit like it's not me because like I'm quite like an yeah happy person. So I thought colorful colors fit me better. So, yeah. That's yeah. I totally get that. It's like uh, I I kind of found the uh, I have a like it's like bright red and then a black suit. Um. And I found that like that doesn't fit me. I need I need somewhere in the middle. Like I'm getting a darker red, but I'm using blue instead of black for my future suits. Like a suit, like Spider-Man's costume, 
or like any spider suit, um, it needs to fit the personality of the person wearing it. Like I've just tested it in my head like sometimes. Like like with a mild suit, I used the same like facial file because it just felt so like me. Yeah. It's like for me, I use the uh I use Zach's Gwen shell. Yeah, exactly. Like something about the eyes, like always just this one is from Zach too, like a well grow and his fonts are so professional, I really like them. Yeah. It's so oh, I cool. love it. Yeah, like awesome. Absolutely. And what logo did you use? Or did you just kind of make your own and stick it on there? I um I actually laser cut mine like with a laser machine on my school. Really? And it was like really fancy and I just picked the one I like from the internet from Google Images. But now I like look at a package from some old toy I got and I think it's actually the one from like the Spider-Man TV show Everyone Hated, like in 2017. Like it's oh. actually that logo, I think. Really? But I didn't notice until like yesterday, so like I really don't like the fact that it's from that show, but it's alright. So I take it you don't exactly love that show either? I, I hate it. The animation, like I was quite young when I was watching it and I was like, what the fuck is this? I really didn't like it. I like Ultimate way better. I'm rewatching it and I really like it. See, for me, it's like the 2017 show. I wouldn't say it's. No, actually, I would say it's bad. <laughs> and the animation is just not good. But then, I like. It's like, I, I don't know. I've talked about Ultimate on this channel and everything, and I'm not like. Like, when comparing it to Spectacular, I think that Spectacular is tons better. But I will happily watch every season of Ultimate before I watch um, 2017. Like, uh, uh, sorry, could you talk a little bit louder? Sorry, could you talk a little bit louder? Okay. Like, the animation, it looks like really rough and, like, not finished. Yeah, like exactly. The just look off to me. It's a... Yeah, it's just... The board on like... When I was a kid, I like, always watched Spider-Man, right? and I was watching it, and I was like, hey, can we like, watch something else? Like, you don't like this. And it just looks like not, it's not for me. Mm. The biggest thing probably for me was the fact that, like, Ultimate had shading. Like, it may not have been great yeah, exactly. shading, but they had it. Agree. Like, I don't know why, but I just really like the theater of that, like, series and I know a lot of people didn't but I did. I don't know. I just think he's so I don't know, I, I just like him. I like his look. That that's I like the ultimate yeah, looks. I agree. Yeah. I, I like his hair and his mask. Well I don't like the like how non colorful his suit is. Like it's like so dark and I don't like that. Yeah. I can see that. It, yeah it's like uh for the there's a show that we want to make uh for this channel and everything and i'm playing peter oh, really? parker and that's what i really want to go for at some point is the the ultimate hair yeah but i sometimes do it myself it just doesn't look that good on me it's like kind of not good looking so i just prefer it like uh, well, yeah, okay. but like, you can't exactly like walk into a great clips or something and show them a picture of a cartoon and be like, "Hey, I want this." Uh, I think I did with like one version of Spider Man, like definitely, but like ultimate like animation is kind of harder. Oh, I, I one time I just went to the barber and I was like showing a picture of Andrew Garfield. I want this. I need this to look <laughs> like. I want to look like that. And he was like, "Okay, all good." So. Yeah. You know what? If they can do it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like that is like the perfect style. Uh, hold on one sec. Sorry, it, it wasn't 
picking up any audio, so I... It's always the no eyes that just... It's, it's so scary. Yeah. I don't know why, but I just... Sometimes I think it's kind of funny that, like... One time I was, like, at a con, and, like, there was a little, little jump, just, like, uh, a little child, and he was like, oh, that's so weird, fuck, I just did. <laughs> and he cried so hard, and I was just not in the mood. I felt so bad afterwards. But it was really funny, so. Do you have mid-frames on your show? I do. I didn't know what I wore. Like, I needed to ask Zach, like, what are these? Like, how do they work? Because I just didn't know at the time. Now I do. That's awesome. I, I really yeah. want to get them, but that would require asking him to, like, make an, to, like, alter the file. Like, and I, just, I was, like, thinking maybe, like, getting a custom, like, it's only for me, like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. But then I was, like, I like this one so much that I don't need a new one because, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, no, I <laughs> totally get just... that. I, I would love to get a new one, but at the same time, like, this has just grown to be my shell. Exactly that. Like at first, I was like having the shell printed on my school, so I kind of like had an emotional connection with it. But later, I got my own printer and printed it myself because the one from school was a little tight. So, yeah, that's cool. Dude, I, you have the Garfield. I, I, don't know, I was like really feeling really sad for some point for quite some time, and I was like, I need this one. I I, I need to feel sad with this plushie. Oh my god, so, I love yeah. it. He's, he's, my, he's my baby yeah. No, but it, it, you are absolutely right with what you were talking about before, that it's the best feeling to just, like, go up to a non-Spidey cosplayer and just... <laughs> it's so scary. I lost your cosplay, and I just went like, Oh, really? Thank you. And they were like, oh, never mind. Oh, I just um, knocked down a yeah. whole thing. I just feel like like the feel of magnetic lenses, like they feel so professional, like I don't know why. No, I absolutely get it. And especially when they like snap on, it's just... And it's all the sounds I can't, it's so... So like the sound just makes me happy, yeah. You keep going like this and I feel like that's just the perfect spidey look. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, I think that's the same. Like, one time I mean, like, to present on school about cosplay because nobody knew what it was. And I just came there, like, with my mask on and everything. And I was like, hello, guys. I'm going to talk about Spider-Man for, like, an entire hour. hour. And everybody was like, yay. Yeah, there's, it wasn't the best. There's an article I wrote that I'll send you um, that, I had, that I had to write for something. And it was just about, like, why Spidey has cosplayed so much. Yeah, I mean... At first, like, sometimes I just question myself, like, is there something wrong in my head? I want to cosplay Spider-Man everywhere I go, like, like, until I was, like, 11, I just went to the grocery shop with my mom dressed as Spider-Man, like, everywhere. Like, she was, like, begging me to come in my normal clothes because she wanted a picture of me where I wasn't dressed up as Spider-Man. So, yeah. I, uh, I went out in my suit for the first time maybe two weeks ago. I had my suit oh, since really? January. I've never like gone out in public with it, but I was just wandering <laughs> around my neighborhood and everything. I'm so scared to go into stores though, because I'm like, will they let me keep the mask on in there? I was like in my, in my local store and I was like in there and they were like, you need to take off the mask because people will are scared of you. And I was like, what? And then I just needed to take off my mask and I looked like I just got hit by a bus or something. So I was like really uncomfortable. Yeah. Dude, no, I I love Spidey cosplay. It's like, I can see why other people like cosplaying other stuff, but with Spidey, you can like put clothes over top and everything and just make a whole new look. I love it. I was thinking of doing like different kinds of cosplay, like all different kinds, like from DC and Marvel. Yeah. And I was like, okay, new new time for a new cosplay. That's big, Spider-Man. And then 
I just end up doing Spider-Man every single time. Uh, yeah. I, I I'm uh so I only have one suit. Sorry, I thought I just spilled stuff on my mask. Um I only have one suit. And that's my Fantabulous Mark II. I don't even have the first one yet. I don't know why I started like that. Yeah, but um I'm getting that soon for the fan film that I'm working on. And then I'm gonna be doing a bat a bat girl cosplay after that. Ooh, that, that's gonna be really cool. I really wanna do Batman. I I am doing Batman myself. Like in school, I like begged my teacher to let me do like a cos making cosplay in skin class. And I got him as far to make cosplay, but he was like, please just pick anyone except Spider-Man. And then I just ended up doing Batman. Oh I love it. So yeah, it's gonna be Robert Pattinson Batman because I just yeah, I don't know, I, I really like this design. Fair. Yeah, and then I'm also doing Raven, actually. Which I Raven. totally forgot about. Oh, no, no. Raven is so cool. I want to do Beast Boy myself, too. But, like, painting myself green, I just don't... Yeah. ...see myself do that, you know? I can see. I like can see Robin. that. Well, like, I'm just... I'm going to my uh, local fan expo in July. And I'm like... I would like to actually be able to divvy up what I'm doing instead of just doing Spidey. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Like, Did you say that again? Just a little bit louder. The, the friends I go to, like, cons with, like, Comic Con and shit and stuff, like, they're like, I wanted to, like, do Meg or, like, Doctor Who. And I'm like, I just want to do Spider Man. And they're like, I want to do that cosplay, that cosplay, and I'm just, hey, I just want to do Spider-Man. And I just sit there as Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm like, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really care too much. Like, <laughs> that's fair. Just Spidey is my favorite to do. Like, I'll do other cosplays, but you will never see me get as into doing that cosplay as you will see me get into doing a Spidey suit. First, like when I'm just like putting on a cosplay, when I put it on a mask, I'm like a different person, right? Like I'm more like Spider-Man. But at this point, I just don't notice the difference, like as Spider-Man as myself. Yeah. Because it's just so, I, like I don't know, like the per the like the persona I have when being Spider-Man has just come to my personal life and just took over. It's Absolutely. like scary. Yeah. I love your Sona, the blue and silver one. I like it myself too, I'm kind of still proud of it, like, wait, wait. Okay. Mask! Oh, see, that looks so good. I love it myself too, I'm so proud of it, it's like my favorite thing ever. I just, yeah, but like, I painted the silver part with like good paint, so paint will just crack on everywhere on the suit. Like Wait, on the top of the mask, like it starts cracking, and I just don't want it to go any further, so I just keep it like this as display. I love it. What lenses did you use for it? I gotta be completely honest. They were meant for the Fortnite Spider-Man, like from Fortnite, but they just don't look like it at all. And no. I don't know who I got it from. Like it wasn't like some sketchy website. Fair. Yeah, like it was really cheap and I really needed something really cheap at a time, so. I was also thinking of just using this shell, to be honest. Fair. But I really love the, I like the silver, the silver eyes, the silver rims, it just. I don't know, like it took me some while to design, to be honest. like. I first had it like completely black and then just silver logo and I was like this just isn't it and I was like painting some like doodling and I was like oh I kind of like this and then boom yeah. yeah that looks so good and then you what did you do for the shoulders um I'm gonna be completely honest I was like thinking like I really want this shot the shoulders to look good but I don't know how to do it so I just took like an image of like Google like from a spider web and I just made it like in the shape of a bit like my shoulder and like, and I printed it out of paper and I just cut it in a special way in foam and I glued it there that kind of had like the 
spider shape, like more of a texture. Just yeah, instead absolutely. Of just flat. And then just glued it on, but it didn't make the suit stretch. So everything went to like rip and stuff. So. Can you still wear that suit or is it just? It's like, I can barely call it a suit. Like I was wearing it to Comic-Con and then like it broke down like piece by piece. And I was like, oh no, I gotta get it off and put it on my different suit. So I just ripped it off and just put it in my bag with Velcro and stuff in it. And it just com got completely destroyed and everything. Oh, that Except sucks. The mask. Yeah, I was like devastated because like the buff paint was so expensive. Because getting buff paint here in the Netherlands is so hard. It's like really expensive. And it just costed like 300 euros in like total. And then it just got destroyed in one day. Oh. Why do I know so many cosplayers that are from the Netherlands? I feel like there's been like three or four, or maybe even five people I've talked to that are from the Netherlands. That's really cool. Like, yeah, um, the one Spider-Man cosplayer, I don't know, like, for that cosplay. Wait, what was it again? That cosplay, like, they a cosplay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've met her, and I'm like, so, like, Holy shit, I met her. Like, she's from Ireland, and like, they say, like, Spidey. Uh, he made this, like, plastic suit, like, a while ago. He's from Ireland, he's kind of, like, in the community as well. And. Yeah, that's it, I guess. Like, yeah. That's so cool. There aren't that many. Yeah, and we're just here in the US, and we have everybody else, except for the Canadians. Yeah, I really want to go to Canada for, like, cosplay stuff, like, all the cool people are there. And US, and, and UK, like, I want to go everywhere. Yeah. Like, all the cool people are in the UK, and in Canada, and in, like, everywhere except the Netherlands. Yeah, we have, we have Zach, we have PSM, we have... I know, like, I really, like, you can just meet PSM at Comic-Con, right? Like, you can. You could. And I just, like... He carried, my, he carried me through high school, like, the first two years. I was like, it was not going well with me, like, I did not get, I just did not fit in with my Spider-Man obsession. Yeah. And I was, like, looking on, like, YouTube and I saw him this video and I was like, oh my god, I love Spider-Man. And then, yeah, I just love his videos and his suits. I just, buying merch soon. Like, the hat. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I honestly... I started out with being a big like PSM person and that's how I was learning everything. And then I kind of stopped okay. for a little bit. And then uh, the podcast is kind of how I learned all my stuff. It was so cool. He was on your podcast and I'm here as well. Like that's so insane for me. Like, yeah, imagine you know. how I feel uh, like in yeah, I, like four you years ago. I was just sitting That's in my bedroom, like staying up late on my computer with downloaded videos of Kai's. And then I met him and I was freaking out. That's so cool. Like my first suit like I got from print costume, I was like really wanted to make my own, but like I couldn't sew at all. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm gonna get my own. Like that's not from AliExpress. And I saw like Capital cosplays. And he got his own like from print costume and I saw it and I just copied this entire link. Like he, he left his like suit stuff in like his bio. And I just went to look everything because I just wanted the suit. And I just got like from the same pattern, like from print costume, just non colored fabric and a different shell because I don't know, I just really like this cosplay. Oh I love it. So good. So good. Are there any other, like, besides Spidey cosplays, besides your Batman that you'd want to do? I want to do Ben 10, but it's, like, kind of easy, I guess. Like, yeah. it's just a shirt and pants and a watch. Which um, Ben 10? The one from, like, the... Oh, I don't know. Um, like, classic? Yeah, yeah, classic. Like with, like, with a white shirt and, like, the black, like, line hair and then just, like, the T shape, I guess. Alrighty. I forgot what it was called. Um, it was my favorite show when I was like eight years old, so I guess, yeah. And I really want to do like Breaking Bad, but that's like kind of, 
I can't do Breaking Bad cosplay because I'm not bald, but you know, I really do like Breaking Bad, so yeah, I might do it. Do a Jesse cosplay. I really want to like he's my favorite character. I just really want to do like. I was thinking of doing like a Jesse Pinkman cosplay with like the yellow costume and like the gas mask with my Spidey suit. I'm like, I thought it would be so funny, but that would be so cool. Know. Jesse, we need to cook. Jesse, I just. Breaking better than my favorite show ever. Better than Spider Man, to be honest. I can see it. Yeah. I've loved. Uh, there's a lot of videos I've been watching recently about like the kind of like really bad ripoffs of Breaking Bad. <laughs> What's that? I didn't know they were ripoffs. Like. Not yeah, <laughs> I'll send you a video. I'll send you the video after it. It was funny, but yeah. And then that's cool. I've been a uh, so I, I recently, recent yes or two days ago, I got the new Ultimates comic. Mm, that is really nice. It's so good. I know you said you don't read comics. I highly recommend it though. I just don't know where to get started. Like, I do, but I don't because, like, getting comments here in the Netherlands is like really tricky for some reason. And the ones I can get, just you can't get the ones in like you can't get them all. So you just have like an unfinished story or just start a story mid mid story. So it just doesn't line up. Yeah, let me send you a website after this then. Uh, that. It's the one I use to read most of my comics that I don't have physically. I never really thought of that, but that's really smart. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I will. I will be. I will read. It, they're so good, but I really want to cosplay the Iron Man suit in this because, like. Oh, that is really cool. It looks, it's really, really cool. It looks so good. I, it doesn't really show well on camera because I have this giant orb of light here, but... <laughs> Fair. Like, how late is it at your strip now? Like, what time? Wait, sorry, what? What time is it at your place? Uh, currently, it's 11.23 a.m. Oh. Alright, alright. Yeah, there's an eight-hour time difference in us. I'm, like texted someone like we were talking and like then after like an hour he went like oh i'm going to bed and i'm like i just woke up what do you mean and then i just realized yeah was, like on the other side of the world and i was like oh, okay i really need to like visit the netherlands because i have one of my closest friends her family is all like from the netherlands and everything and then like the netherlands is awesome because like the way things go here but the weather sucks, like, it really does. Like, it rains 24-7, even now, when, when, like, the summer is about to start. It's yeah. so unfair. It's very sunny here. I'm I'm in yeah. Colorado, middle of the U.S. I really want to visit there. Like, me and my entire family are like, oh, we want to go there on vacation and stuff. And I'm like, oh, please, please. I really want to go there, but I can't because it's like, so far away and really, really busy with like stuff. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. it's fun, except that we only have like a few cosplayers here. Like uh, we have Cash. Uh, I'm not sure if you if he's the mask guy. It's kind of his whole thing. Um, his I don't know. His tag is Kashishas. Um, but he's in the, he's in Colorado. And then we also have, uh, do you know JPEG Spidor.jpg? I heard his name, but I just can't, nah. Not it's, really. it's okay. Right. Yeah. I don't know. We have some, we have some good people here. And then we have me also. So that's something, I guess. I run the cause, I run the cosplay podcast. Yeah. Sorry, like, could you say that again? Huh? I said I was just saying, could you say that again? The last thing you said. I can't remember. 
Hmm. Yeah, that, um, but like, I really want to visit like the UK and might go there like next year, like in May. It, like, it, it is quite some time, but I might. It's like quite an expensive trip there, but I will go there. Um, oh, I love it. Because like, there are such a cool people, like, Urzilla is there and I, he's so cool. And then you have like, um, I forgot the name, wait. I, I forgot the name. But right now, there's really cool people and I just really want to go there and meet everyone. And see them in Comic Con looks so cool. And it then, sounds like so much fun. That's why I'm so excited to go to like my con because I've never been to a con before. So I'm like, I want to meet people that have been at the cons and everything and make friends. like amazing they're like my favorite thing in the world whole world like it's like i go home i get home from a call and i'm like when is the next one and i just i just love it every year i go every time there is one I how many cons know. have you been to way too many to count i have been going since i was like six nice like every year and um, so like too many to count i guess that's really cool yeah I was really sad when, like, with COVID, with, like, Corona and stuff. Like, I couldn't go there because, like, it was locked down for, like, quite some time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, I can't go to Comic-Con. What do I do? So, but then I could go, and it was amazing. I met so many great people. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I, I want to go to a con so bad, but I also totally... I couldn't imagine wanting to go to a con so bad and then not being able to. One tip, like, if you go, bring your own food, because, like, the food on the cons here in the Netherlands is, is overpriced, and it tastes like cardboard. Oh, really? It's, like, it's like not good at all. But I don't know where it is, how it is, like, there, but that's in my experience. I'm gonna assume it's still super overpriced. <laughs> yeah. One sandwich was, like, 12 bucks, and it was, like, two, two pieces of bread and, like, some chicken in between and just jeez yeah that's not 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 that good i'm uh yeah i'm excited i'm going with my sister um oh yeah that's really fun that is yeah. really fun and then i get to meet up with a couple spidey friends and get some awesome shoots i think like my favorite kind of people are like spidey people because they're like just as weird as i am with like spider-man like I can't go a day without thinking about Spider-Man. Something is like, ah, I'm not really that this this weird. And I'm just so into Spider-Man, and I just get, I go to Comic Con, and like all these other people, they're just just as obsessed with Spider-Man as I am. Oh yes, I it's love just, it. Yeah, it's great. Best place on earth. I'm like, I would, I love that. I love the community. Like everybody I've met in it, it just seems so pleasant. I don't know why, but like when I was like, like 11, 12, I was like, oh, am I really this extreme weird? And then I like saw all these people on like Instagram that were like doing the same as me, but just, just posting, posting it online. And I was like, I can do that too. I just don't, I can't, I can't post on Instagram. And then so amazing people, like really amazing. That's so cool. People are so nice in the community. Like, it's insane. I see a lot of other communities that I feel like can be very, very toxic. And I'm like, I'm so happy that ours is very supportive and everything. Yeah. Like, I just love how, like, most people, like, almost everyone is so open-minded about, like, every kind of subject. Like, everyone accepts everyone, and it's, like, my favorite thing. Like, I just... I was like talking with a friend of mine like, like, some time ago and he was like talking about like a game he was playing in like the community how everyone was so extremely toxic and like playing in, in like groups and stuff it was so unpleasant and it's it's really annoying because we kind of are we strive to be a very supportive community because it's like if somebody else is doing this awesome work we want to like congratulate them and tell them that they are doing good yeah, i think that's uh, yeah people the, the people here in the community are genuinely doing great things like 
it's it, it's just genuinely so good. Like we assembled like a new suit like with Ben Riley, like the yeah, sensational really spectacular. Good. Yeah, exactly. And like um sensational suit like from like Zach is like really, 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 really good. Like when just like he just released his new suit like on Instagram, I was genuinely like so I absolutely love it. It's so good. Like, I, such an inspiration. I'm really, really, like, really looking forward to seeing what Zach does because, um, me and him had talked at one point about how, like, he, he was going to retire his current, like, you know, the Zach suit. Yeah, I, I, when, he, when he announced that, I was like, oh, no. Wow, it's so good. And then, yeah. yeah. Well, and see, so what it ended up being was, like, that was, like, his definitive suit. That was, like, if Spidey made a suit, what it would be like. But then he's talking about now he wants to make the suit that's, like, the perfect Spider-Man suit. Like, not, like, like he's going to do screen-printed fabrics and all this stuff. And I'm so psyched to see it. I really want to do screen printing myself. I got like the equipment, but I just don't get the, got the skill level to pull it off. I think, like my school has like everything I need, like fabric, like paint and stuff, and like that that thingy, like you know Andrew Garfield did in the first movie. Yeah, like they got everything. But I just don't know how to do it. So, yeah, that's I love it. But I it, it's buy some screen print and it was like so expensive it was like 600 euros for like just the blue parts and that's just a little too much jeez i'm like i think that would be really cool but i can never see myself actually doing it like it seems like such a huge undertaking it's like i could see myself puff painting but like even that's kind of iffy because if I'm spending a hundred something on a suit, I don't want to uh, get puff paint all over it and ruin it. Exactly. Puff paint is like the most scary part in Spider-Man cosplay, I think. Like some some things you can just hide, you know, like not perfect seams, you can just hide it with puff paint. But the puff paint can mess things up, you know. Like if you're doing here the mask and then just poof, you have like a big black spot on your mask, and you're like, no, and like. I made my mask in like less than a day, so I can just make a new one. With buying costume and then puff painting it? Nah. <laughs> I'm never gonna do that. It's like way too scary. I'm just gonna be like faking and shaking and can't do it. I need to get, I just need to get uh, like the proper puff paint, liquid latex, and uh, the proper applicator bottles. And I think, I guess maybe I could do it. I don't know. But then the people who have found like the secret sauce for like the perfect puff paint, I'm like. He actually like, really helped me out with like my puff paint stuff. He was like, add this, add that. Like, you need to do like this and that. And I was like, can, can I just not buy puff paint and puff paint? And he was like, <laughs> nah, you gotta like add all these different kinds of stuff to make it like actually work. So like my, my puff paint on my mask like here. It started just like peeling off and just, you know how like um, the suit of Toby like with the um, urethane webbing, it just yeah. comes off sometimes. It happened with my puff paint. I just didn't know how. And he was like, at water, so I did, and I just, just fixed it, and I didn't know how. So. I'm like, why doesn't Some somebody? Just... Why doesn't somebody sell it like, for cosplay puff paint to like, stretch and be able. Uh... Puff paint, like I think, like Philip, like the brand, just made a video of someone puff painting their suit, and they just just released the cosplay stuff already. Like I just want to buy it and just puff paint and be done. Not add liquid latex, water, and all that. Too much work. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe that should be my next uh, money making venture. I'll just buy tons of puff paint, liquid latex, and water, and just get the perfect combo and start selling it off. It would actually make you rich, I think. Like, I, I would buy it, definitely. That'd be cool, actually. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It'd probably cost an arm and a leg. 
hard enough, you know. What's up? Sorry. I, I would be down. It'd be cool. Although, as a person who hasn't puff painted yet, that would be a very risky venture. <laughs> that would be really risky. Like, I mean, I think something you like know a little bit and just going further, but something like it's fully unknown and just starting a business with it, I just think it's not doable. Yeah. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. How do you mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 15 and I'm like sometimes like. I'm like sitting eating stuff, like e eating dinner, and I'm like, wait, I'm like, I'm like a child. Like, I'm for some people, like, I'm a baby, you know? Like, you're 15? Crazy to think. I'm 15. Like, Whoa. at Comic Con, like, I was meeting up with friends, and they're like all 26 and 27 and stuff. And like, we were all taking off our mask, and he was like, how old are you? And I'm like, I'm, I'm 15. And he was like, so in shock. <laughs> I'm 16, yeah, I so I can't, I can't really say anything about it I actually I was 15 when I started the creator cast whoa weird you want to know something crazy I can take off my lens or is it too scary <laughs> you can take off your lens <laughs> because like it's, it's ventilating you know like no yeah. I, I get how stuffy <laughs> spidey masks can be it's really weird seeing myself like this, like, my face, my eyes don't look like this normally, like, it's really weird. I feel like whenever you take off the, like, lenses and everything, your eyes just look completely different than they normally would. Like, they look, like, all squished and stuff, I don't know why it is this. I really want to take off my mask, but the world can't see my face yet, you know? Alright. That's, that's fair. The, keep the face yeah, reveal. Yeah. Keep them waiting. Yeah, and then make them like really disappointed and stuff. <laughs> oh, that looks weird. I, I think it looks cool with you, but with mine, it just looks weird, you know? It's because I have the small eye holes. Yeah, mine are pretty big, I guess. Not too big, just, just big. Oh, that, that looks so good. Like, mine you can't just see, like, it isn't, like, like, it isn't perfect, because, like, I made it, obviously. But yours just looks so great. I love it. Thank you. I, uh... I'm taking that off. There's a reason I don't do wear it during, co during the interviews. Um, yeah, I was, like, really thinking of not wearing mine myself because like my tall cane like is a whack right now because of it but like you know i think people would rather not hear me good than see my face so i that think i'm just doing everyone's favor but um i added on like i i airbrushed the lenses and everything i airbrushed the mesh i added on that plastic clear coat it's oh, I really want to get an airbrush myself. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. It looks perfect. I love it so much. Can you see like with like the lenses, like like you can plastic layer between the mesh and the frame white, right? Yeah. Doesn't it fog up like real mad? It sometimes can. Um can I get it get get it? you kind of have to get a little bit tricky with how you like install it and everything but uh this one no because these lenses suck so much because like they're just simply supposed to be placeholders like i have another like plastic thing i want to get but i just simply don't have the money yet um so it's like this is like a super cheap thin plastic like i push my finger in here you can see it completely changes the shape of it and everything. That would scare me, to be honest. Like, if I had that, I would be, like, taking care of them like they were gold or something, you know? Like, precious. I, I was uh, out doing a photo shoot a couple weeks ago, and I dropped it, and hey. this whole thing just popped out the front. So it was halfway in and out. It's just... 
I, I hate these. I... They are not good quality. Like, when I just had my first, like, um, facial made, I did not have made mist frames, just, like, the lens, and no mist frame. And then yeah. I was, like, on a catwalk, and I just jumped in the air and did a pose. And the lenses just both fell off, or off my mask. So I jumped scared everyone, because I just I was, like... <laughs> so it was, like, really... <laughs> Really not that great, but now I do have mist frames, so just they just stick on. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, really, really nice. Yeah. I want to get mid frames because I'm like, I take off my mask and take those pictures so often. It's like, it it's stupid not to have them. I've been thinking about making my own actually. Mm -hmm. What's that? Sorry. You can, can you make your own mist frames? I mean, not good ones, but I mean, you could. <laughs> um, I guess. Sorry, what's that? I, I think you can like, indeed make yourself mist frames. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Here, what's that? I have this, like, thin foam and everything. So what I'm thinking is if I trace the shape of that onto it and then cut out the holes for the for magnets and install magnets into this, I could hypothetically just make make bid frames. I mean yes, but I would get thicker foam, like you know, five millimeter thickness. Absolutely. Because this is like really flimsy. Yeah. Technically, yeah, I guess you could. <laughs> well, it's like, so I have two of the exact same shell. That the only difference in these is the fact that this one is bigger than this one, but literally by 5%, it is 5% bigger. Don't, don't feel bad or something. Like, I have a shell, like, the exact same one. There's, like, the same lenses and stuff. Only, like, 2% thicker. Yeah. Just because I wanted it, like, 2% thicker. Because the other one was, like, really tight and was, like, deforming my face to the facial form. And this one is just kind of comfortable. Yeah, it's, like... One thing with Mitch Franks, it just pushes into your head. Like, my... Cool, has a different shape because I wear the mask so much oh. with mid frames. Like the mid frames just push inside my skull. It hurts <laughs> so bad, but it's fine, I guess. You know, it's yeah, it's fine. Just getting deformed it's at the fine. moment. It's fine. Yeah. Like I take off my mask at the Comic Con, and everyone is like, "Oh my God, your face! It's like a different shape." And I'm like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, it does that sometimes." Yeah. But I'm like, so, um, I've talked quite a bit about, like, my fan series and everything that we're going to be making on this channel, um, but, um, what I really want to do is get the, um, sorry, um, I did, like, the black face shell for it, like, the black rubber coating, um, and what, Jeez, I'm getting really bright. Um, what I want to do is get, like, different colors and get, like, that premium finish for everything. Get it super duper smooth for the film and everything. And then also I want to uh, cut it in half and add in the jaw movement. I understand people doing that, but I just, I just can't see myself doing it. Because it's just, for me, it's, like, such a complex thing to do. And then just having my jaw move, I, I, I can't see myself do it. But I just can't let other people do it because it's like way more professional. And in like films and stuff, it just looks so good. So like, it actually looks like it's a person because you can tell that I'm not like, you can tell it's a shell like in every way possible. Like, yeah, I'm not talking, you can just see it's hard and stuff. But with a movable jaw, it's like, it feels like it's just a really perfect shaped head underneath the mask. Absolutely. So I guess, yeah. I'm so excited for that. 
the film's gonna be awesome. It, it we were supposed to start filming like two weeks ago, but we don't have one of the suits or the script finished or any of the materials. So saying we were supposed to start isn't exactly the most accurate statement. <laughs> It was a fence film, like, I needed to make, like, the Shocker Helm for it. Like, I don't know if you have seen it on my story, like, the Shocker Helm art. And it needed to be, like, done within, like, two days of the person ordering it. Like, I, I can't make a, like, an entire helmet in, like, two days. Yeah, it's wow. And everything. So I just needed to say, like, yeah, bro, I, like, need, like, at least two weeks with, like, everything going on. And, like, the entire movie just got delayed because I couldn't make the mask in, like, Two days, so <laughs> well, I, I mean, I understand it being delayed. What was it? What was the helmet? Uh, like, uh, yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, could you repeat that? Okay. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't hear you. Howdy. This. Oh my god. Black mask. Yeah, it was like for shocker. You and I need to talk after this interview. Um. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Um. All right. We're actually like within the last ten minutes, so. Oh. I, okay. Okay. I have a few things I want to kind of like ask you about. Yeah. Um. What do you think will happen to Spider-Man 2099 when the year 2099 rolls around? I ask myself it like every week, like in the shower, I'm like, hmm, what, what, what would happen in the year 2099? I just really hope I'll live till that time to see like if they'll make a movie about him. Well, like, I really hope they do. I'm like, he- Spider-Man 2099. Yeah, he's a character that like exists in this like crazy future and everything, but that future isn't actually that far away. Yeah, exactly. Like I think that when the time comes around, like in like the way way future, like after that, they will be like, oh, that's like the old Spider-Man. Like Spider-Man Noir is known, you know? Yeah. Like the the past Spider-Man. I hope. I think. Oh, I like it. Or it will just change the timeline, I guess. That's true. Here. That would be neat. Well, now they're doing, like, they made an announcement for a, a comic run that's uh, titled 2099 Annihilation. I've never heard of it. I'm like, go take a look. That does sound really cool, to be honest. Like, I would really like, you know, like they're doing a Spider Man Noir TV show, like, yeah. Live action. I would want one with, like, Spider Man 2099. I really wish they went for the Silk TV show. I would have loved to see that. Yeah. I think she's so like such a cool character, you know? Yeah. And I feel like she doesn't really get the enough. The design is so, so cool. I just really like, like the... Oh, absolutely. No thingy. Yeah. I feel like she doesn't get enough stories um, that don't involve this Spider-Verse. Yeah. Like, have you played Spider-Man 2 or, like... Nope. Seen the story and stuff? I, I can do. All right, all right. Yeah, I, I'm, I still hail myself as doing something impossible because I run a Spider-Man cosplay podcast and still do not know any of the story for Spider-Man 2. That's better. If you knew and haven't played it yet, that would be just kind of... Yeah, yeah, you know. No, Spoil, I... Spoiling it for yourself. I just need to save up money. Speaking of, I'm going to shamelessly self-promote here. I'm doing commissions. Everybody watching, check them out. Cause I am doing commissions as well. Hell um, yeah. I, I, first, I did it only in an allowance, but now I'm doing like worldwide. I did not make any promo, but I am doing it. You're I doing world promo. You're doing worldwide? Worldwide. Worldwide shipping and stuff. Nice. 
Right. It's really cheap, just 45 euros for a shell or a bill or anything like that. So I think it's really cheap. cheap. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Mine's, I'm right. doing almost $100 USD. For... Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of work, you know? Yeah, absolutely. But it's also because, like, I have to account for the fact that I have to buy the file for each shell that somebody commissions me for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't own any of the ones from Zach's shop. So, I factor it into the price in case I do have to buy them. I, I just make people get their own file and come to me to... See, I did... Know. That's what I did, but then with Zach doing, like, lifting his, like, use, just selling and making his files and everything. Or not se not selling his files, but making the files. Um, I just thought that would be so... I loved it. So... I'm trying to take advantage of it. <laughs> yeah, fair. I, I get that, you know. All right, but with the, this being the last question, Rypel, or is it... I'm going to cut this out. But is it Rypel or Rypel? Yeah, the, the, the second one. Rypel. Yeah. In the Netherlands, you say, like, Rypel. Rypel, like... But, like, in English, it's, like, ripe, you know, like, when a fruit is ripe. Okay. Yeah, it's just ripple to be honest. It's it. Well, but I pronounce it as ripple. All right. I ripple. You know? Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's not my real name though, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, ripple. With the last question for this episode, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite. Oh, Five Guys, definitely. I love Five Guys. Five Guys. Yeah, I don't know why, I just love it so much, but just because it's ironic and it's like close to the Comic-Con. So every time I go to Comic-Con, me and the gang just go as Spider-Man, eat at Five Guys. Oh, I love that. It's, I'm, I'm just <laughs> shocked because we've gotten, we've gotten Five Guys twice now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Five Guys is awesome. Like, we, we are like with a group of almost five people. Sometimes we are with five people and then you go, ah, oh, Five Guys, I gotta get Five Guys. So... It's just kind of like a thing, man. I love it. What's your favorite food? What's my favorite food? Whoa, nobody's asked me that before. <laughs> I don't know. Me neither know. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. I'm going to like start those. freaking out over this. I don't know. <laughs> you should. What's your favorite food? I feel like I should know this. Like, with, I ask this question every single week. Yeah. Answer it. What's your favorite food? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should know this. Yeah, you, we we're going to end this until you know it. So <laughs> We're not. Okay. I, uh, pizza. I like pizza, so we'll say... I, actually, I love Little Caesar's Crazy Bread. Yeah, yeah you, you should. Like, that's good. Okay. I think. All right. It's amazing. It's the best food. What do you think of, like, pineapple pizza? Uh, I really don't like Hawaiian pizza, but I love pineapple on pizza. Wait, what? How do you not like... How... I don't like the ham. You don't like the ham? No. You're fine with, like, the... Um... Pineapple. How, the, the pineapple, and you're not okay with the ham? I will get a pepperoni and pineapple pizza. That's like I'm blown away right now. Like pineapple and pepperoni. Yeah, sweet and savory. What? Like I thought I was weird, right? Like Nutella, but like pepperoni and pineapple. It's not that bad. It is like you have like the juiciness of like the pepperoni and like the the stick the seasoning and stuff. And he has the sweet, salty side of the pineapple. You're that listing the not... bad parts. You can't. You're missing the good parts. Like, what are the good parts? There are no good parts. It's well, just bad. Like the sour Terry, of the pineapple, and then the savory of the uh, pepperoni. Yeah, man. The bad parts are too bad to make that good. Sorry. Like, I mean, sure, you you like your pizza with, like, <laughs> disgusting stuff on it. Sure, you know, okay? do, your, do your thing. But you know what? You can't knock it till you try it. 
I'm gonna try it tomorrow. That's my breakfast, and I will let you know. I want to hear your review. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a video of me eating it with my mask on, like spit through my eye hole. <laughs> Shove it through the eye. I eat actually like at birthday parties I go to, I like take off my lenses and I just <laughs> spit the like do oh this and just spit food inside my mask. Well, you have uh, mid frames. Why don't you just wear the mask without the shell and just? I don't know. Like I mean, me personally, I think my head shape is like fine for no shell, but like I don't know. Like I feel cool wearing a shell. I feel professional. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Um, with that, we're gonna wrap up. Uh, we're gonna wrap. Yeah. Rebel, thank you thank so you much for coming coffee. on. Yeah, I re I re we really appreciate it. This is a really fun episode. Um, I, re I really enjoyed it. I'm so happy I could be here and just... I can tell all my friends, like, I was on the creator cast, and they will never believe me until I saw it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we're, we're growing. We're growing our audience. All right, uh, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, follow everything that's going to be on the last part of the video. Check out all of Ripple's uh, links and everything. It'll all be linked below. Oh, really? Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Of course. All right. Um, well. And everybody, uh, the cosplay of this week is an an Iron Fist cosplay. Let, holy crap. This is amazing. Um... It's by Leather, Leather Fashion Valley and Raymond Wayland? I don't know. It's, it's whatever's over there. But um, this is awesome. Like, I never feel like I see Iron Fist cosplays that capture the character this well. And especially like the tattoo and then the bright green and yellow. It looks so good. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching episode 19. Have a good week, everybody. See you next week.